Good morning, this is Rick Gray. I did a talk last week for some people summarizing the book, The Four Disciplines of Execution, which is a fantastic business book if you haven't read it yet. I wanted to summarize it here for you really quickly with just some key points to take away for your family or your business, because really the four disciplines applies to any area of life. Um, basically, the four disciplines start with number one, focus on the wildly important. In other words, there's always more great ideas than there is capacity to act on. What that means is you really need to narrow your focus to just a few things that you can do really well. One or two, not three to five, not ten to fifteen. You know, there's always a lot of great things you'd like to do, but you really have to focus on one or two or you're not going to get any of them done with excellence. That's number one. Focus on the wildly important. Number two is act on the lead measures. The book breaks down different things, lead measures and lag measures. Lag measures are things in the past. It's like things that have already happened. How many sales you made last month? How much money you earned last month? How much weight you lost last week? Those are lag measures. You can't affect those things. They're already done. But that's where most people tend to focus. And the idea is to not focus there, but to focus on the lead measures. The lead measures are things that if you do them correctly, will lead to getting the goal done. So here's a simple example. Think of weight loss, right? Weight loss is very popular. <laughs> it's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry. Everybody knows about weight loss. There's two lead measures when you think about weight loss that are universal. And they would be diet and exercise. Those are lead measures, right? Diet, what am I eating? How many calories am I intaking? Am I consuming? And exercise, how many calories am I burning? Those are great lead measures because they're influenceable. You can actually do them and they're predictive. If you do those two lead measures, you will lose weight, right? So the weight loss, the scale is the lag measure. Guess where most people focus? Most people focus on the lags. They focus on the weight loss, the scale. Well, that's already done. That's in the past. That's not where you need to be focusing. You should focus on the lead measures. Most people have no idea how many calories they consume each day, and certainly they don't know how many calories they burn each day. That's what you should be focused on, though. Focus on the lead measures, not the lags. Okay? The lags are in the past. The lags are very important, which is one reason we focus on them, and they're very easy to measure. How hard is it to step on the scale and see the number? Pretty simple. A little bit harder, takes a little bit more time to measure the lead measure. Focus on that. How many calories am I actually eating? What kind of food? What kind of calories are they? And then also, how many calories am I burning? So number one, focus on the wildly important. Number two, act on the lead measures. Number three, keep a compelling scoreboard. In other words, keep track, keep score. When you keep score, you turn it into a game, you'll play differently. People play differently when they're keeping score. You should know at any time whether you're ahead or behind. Are you winning or are you losing? That's why a lot of people disengage from their work. They disengage from their goals or things that they said that they wanted because they don't know if they're winning or losing. So keep a compelling scoreboard. And number four of the four disciplines is show accountability, right? Create a cadence of accountability. Be accountable to a person, be accountable to yourself, have some sort of a system so on a daily or at least weekly basis you're accountable to the goal. The main reason people don't succeed in their goals is number one, they don't have them. Number two, they don't know how to achieve them. Number three, they don't know whether they're winning or losing. Or number four, they're not accountable to them. If they don't do them, so what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> so set up some accountability for yourself so it matters. I hope you enjoyed this session. Go read the book, The Four Disciplines of Execution. You'll be glad you did. It's great stuff.